Okay. We're out here on the casting pond. I want to introduce some of you people to something. I know a lot of you heard about it. It's two-handed casting switch rods. Uh, they're two-handed rods. For a lot of you people who have been fishing down here for years, I can show you a lot easier way to do a roll cast with a single-handed rod. I'm going to use a two-handed rod. Now understand these rods are physically very light. And they're effortless to cast. So I'm just going to show you a standard roll cast with a two-handed rod. Let me do that again. Got a little tree up there. I've got probably somewhere in the neighborhood of about 60 feet of line out. I'm going to show how easy this is to roll cast. Bring the two hands back, drop your casting foot forward. And basically you can get 60, 65, 70 feet with no effort at all. Now there's a lot more to using a two-handed rod than just doing a single-handed static roll cast. And that's what this is. So bring the rod back. The top hand is on top. The bottom hand pulls the bottom hand. And basically what you're doing, you can edit that one out. What you're actually doing is you're able to roll cast a long distance with very, very little effort. I'm just going to bring the rod up, pull the bottom hand. I want you to see how easy this is to cast. You notice my arms never go above my side. When I bring the rod back, I have a particular specialized line here for this, and I move forward, pull the bottom hand. That's probably about 60, 65 feet. Notice how easy that was. Now this is just the touch of the iceberg on what we can do because it can do a lot more than what I'm showing. But I'm showing you a lot of people that if they do a lot of roll casting, I can bring this rod up, basically make a forward pull, and make it 100% easier to do your roll cast. And there's two things I want to remind you of. This rod's 10 feet 6 inches line. It takes a 4 weight line. The line I'm on here is probably a 7 weight. So it has the mass and ability to carry your fly out, carry your float out there, and then once your line is out there, you have more control over it because you can mend your line easier with a longer rod. You can also set the hook at a farther distance away, and you can also use this to overhead cast with two hands and be a lot less effort. I'm going to take the two hands, put them together, make an overhand cast, and I can shoot 75, 80, 90 feet just like that. If you come by Reading's Fly Shop and I show you a light trout switch rod, I guarantee it will change your life and perspective of roll casting. That is my promise. Drop by the shop. I have a pond out here and I'll demonstrate this to you. I'll make you a believer. It doesn't take anything away from the enjoyment of fly fishing, but it makes it a lot easier, a lot less effort, and this is only one of four or five things I can do with this rod. I guarantee you, I absolutely guarantee you, this will make your life a lot easier and a lot less effort in roll casting and you'll be able to throw big flies and enjoy small fish on a small rod. This rod is not heavy. So I hope you come by so I can demonstrate using a two-handed light trout switch rod because what you can do with this rod is nothing short of amazing. I've been in the business for 41 years. I've never had anything more versatile than a light switch or a light spay rod for trout. Hope to see you soon.